Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about this <laughs> two and a half year old Triumph Celine handbag. I've been using this handbag for two and a half years, so I thought it's time to update the video so you know how it's holding up and you know as well yeah there is something i will do different about this purchase so let's get <laughs> so let's get started let's talk about i have actually few selling or purchases i want to talk to you about and yeah should we start with that <laughs> so guys um i've been receiving so many messages about these sunglasses it's the classic triumph sunglasses um i got them in the yellow gold so these sunglasses i'll put them on for you i just now you're gonna see all the lights i have here so <laughs> these sunglasses to me personally are super chic super elegant i love these sunglasses so these sunglasses are quite heavy i do have I would say like medium size head and they are kind of snucked on me honestly if you have a little bit bigger size head they're probably not going to be comfortable guys i love the sunglasses but there is one thing which really bothers me about them which is this part after a few hours of wearing these sunglasses my nose is imprinted forever <laughs> or at least for a few hours after i take them off so if you walk around the town wearing these little chic gold Celine, very trendy, beautiful sunglasses, and then you go indoors somewhere and you're going to take your glasses off, you're going to get these very red imprints here because the glasses are really, really heavy. They're heavy sunglasses. They're not light. It's metal and metal sunglasses are always a little bit heavier. So just so you know, a little update uh, so you can save up <laughs> uh, for this $600 sunglasses or you can pass this purchase. I mean, there is so many beautiful sunglasses from Celine, you know, come on, so many. My oldest purchase from Celine are these sunglasses, which is the classic square. It has this gorgeous, gorgeous ombre effect. I am absolutely in love with these. I have them forever. They're a little too big for my head, honestly. This part, this pair is too big. That one is too tight. I don't know. So sometimes it's like slides. So I just push them back on. Guys, this is like the absolute ultimate favorite. Very Audrey Hepburn, you know, very French chic oversized glasses. I like when oversized glasses cover up a little bit of your eyebrows as well. I think it's good. And the ombre effect. So I think Celine still sells them, no? Aren't they like classic, the square ones from them? I have them for so many years and I have so many sunglasses, but I always bring these with me anywhere we go. Anyway, time to talk about my medium Celine Triumph handbag. How it's holding up. So as you can see, the strap is like so much more flexible than it was before before it was really stiff and now it's getting like you know normal i would say uh is it bad thing no i don't think it's a bad thing honestly um it wiggles a little bit but it's just because this part of here it's uh you know the way it is here it's do you see it so it's not like it's falling off it just is made like that so yeah my handbag and scratches so i have some scratches on the hardware but that is really because i dropped the bag a few times i drop it on like you know we have a like this porcelain floors which look like wooden but it's a porcelain and it's like very heavy <laughs> very strong it's not like porcelain like what you drink from but they're very heavy and i literally before i started this video i just like slide the metal on it by accident yeah anyway scratches the hardware has some there is a few scratches on the hardware 
but the shine of the gold is so strong that you never see any scratches. The leather, um, I have a little scratch here. Nope, just kidding. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> I know I have to have some scratches. Um, so, yeah, here is one little scratch. You will not probably even see it. I don't know. It's like literally here, right here, when my nail is pointing. Sorry, hit the middle finger, but it's there. This is like some dent. Um, so this handbag, being worn so much, I would say I wore this bag maybe 300 times, maybe more. <laughs> Jesus. Because when I was in Prague, when I was in Europe, this was one of the most worn handbags for me, my dear friends. So the clasp, the magic clasp, which was so difficult before, became super easy to operate. I mean, done, closed. From the beginning, it was so difficult. And now it's just like, no problem at all. So here I have some scratches. Um, the leather outside is different than inside. Inside is not like treated with the shine. You see, compare the bottom here. So I have one scratch here, one scratch here, one scratch here. And it doesn't bother me really, who cares? It's on the inside. Um, the back overall got a little bit more softer. So it's more comfortable. Um, I would say if you didn't know it's two and a half year old, you will not know it's old. You will probably think it's new, except the strap. The strap is only what is giving like the age. Um, it's much more comfortable now. I always wear it this way. So this is my favorite way of wearing this handbag, which is crossbody. Crossbody is super comfortable. So, oopsie. <laughs> what would I do different um, with this purchase, my dear friends? So this is medium size. So many always ask me, is the medium size a great size? So, as you can see, it has the two packets and one main packet here. Let me talk you through the insides. Uh, what I have noticed, um, I usually put like my hairbrush here, which is flat. Here I put my card case, possibly like if I have any, you know, like if I fly with this bag, I will put like my ticket or something like that. If we have ticket, usually it's on the phone, right? And here I put like makeup, and other essentials and the zip pocket. I never really use the zip pocket ever. It's there though. So you have like one, two, three, four, five uh, packets, even with the zip pocket all together. Um, the Celine Paris is so beautiful on it. It's so, so cute. So what would I do different if I was purchasing this bag now? Well, oh, by the way, even the stitching still in absolutely perfect, perfect condition. There is no one stitch which went wrong, like no. And I did not babysit this bag, guys. At some point, I spilled hot sauce, red hot sauce all over it. Don't ask me how that happened. It was like dripped all over the hardware. It was, yeah, it was not happy moment. Um, anyway, you see how it sits on this side, but it's not because it's damaged. It's just, it's because this part is like the way it's created here. Do you see this here again? One more time. Anyway, let's talk about what I will do different finally. So this is the medium size, my dear friends. I will go for smaller size. The medium size is not necessary for me personally. So this is kind of um, what I will, uh, it fits more than my Chanel medium classic and it fits less than my medium old school Chanel bag, the boy bag. It fits less because of the multiple packets. So I will go for the smaller size um, because 
I just think it's a little bit more elegant. I think this one has more of the sport vibe for winter. Um, for summertime, this is really not Miami bag. And I think with the smaller, I could technically just wear it oops, on like shoulder like this, the way like people wear their Chanel bag and have it a little bit more in the chic way for like dinner, you know? Anyway, so yes, guys, I will go for the small size. Will I be buying another one just to have a small size? No, but if I could go back in time and decide for the smaller, I will get the smaller size. I even really love the really clutch style. Like I think that is very cute. Maybe I should get one. No, I am focusing on not buying more bags until I start wearing all my bags. So anyway, yeah, that's what I will do different, my dear friends. I will go a little bit smaller because this is really not necessary size for me. Looks beautiful on, looks perfect with like trench coat, blazers, coats. It just looks super elegant, super chic. You see me wearing it in Prague on when I was posting like pictures on my Instagram all the time. I wear this bag so much, it was almost embarrassing. <laughs> but you know, when you are in city, it's more comfortable to have handbag crossbody than to have like a tote bag, especially, you know, um, yeah, if you're walking on the streets like by yourself for a safety, you know, crossbody is always a little bit better, right? Um, as well, it's not so easy to open if you don't know how to open this bag. Well, for me now, it is easier to open it, but like, you know, nobody's gonna just open the bag for you and rob you or things like that because they will be like, damn it. <laughs> but it's much more easy to open it now than it was from the beginning, like I mentioned. So yes, the only regret I have is that I got it in this medium size. I should have go, go for the small size. I think you can wear it as a clutch in the evening like that if you don't want to, if you, you know, if this is the only bag you brought with you, you just... You just hold it this way as a clutch, you know? Why not, my dear friends? It looks good, you know? I sometimes wear my Chanel medium this way when I wear like dress and we get out of Uber and I don't want to like putting it on my shoulder or just hold it in my hand. That's how I hold my medium Chanel classic, like a clutch just in the hand like that. Very Victoria Beckham, you know, from the bottom. Boop. Yeah. So, um, let's talk about another Chanel, uh, Chanel <laughs> Celine piece, which I don't have here with me because it's in a storage. You've seen probably my video about the Celine sneakers, right? My dear friends, I am not even going to talk about it. <laughs> no, I'm going to talk about it. The sneakers were so expensive. Yes. Very comfortable. They were very comfortable. The winter sneakers are not good for summer unless you like your feet to be extra hot. I don't like my feet to be extra hot and I don't care for super cushioned shoes because they make your feet look big, like a smurf, you know? I like delicate shoes. So anyway, I wore the shoes when we went to Prague for vacation. It was... Um, in between of spring, so one day it was cold, so I wore the sneakers, and some I dropped something under the bed in the hotel, and I needed to like bend, and I like crushed the sneaker in the you know the part which is like the toes, right? When you like bending, you bend your shoe with you. That made the shoe look like five dollar shoe. <laughs> Is it the selling production issue? No, it was my own issue. But honestly, if the shoe didn't have the Celine sign on it, it will be in a garbage already. But because it cost me that much, it cost, um, and it is the name, but it is, I keeping them. Because maybe once you go to New York in winter, in winter time and I will want sneakers, I will take them out because they, they can be beat up because they already look pretty beat up because of one bend. So do I recommend you to buy them now? Absolutely not. I will not be wasting uh, money on trendy sneakers ever, ever again. 
it's a waist. I am planning. I have a one beautiful white shoe on a plan to get, but they are sold out. But it's not sneaker. It's like elegant shoe, a bit like espadrille style. Gorgeous. I'm not gonna mention it because I need them first back in stock. <laughs> anyway, so I highly recommend you to go for Celine Classic sunglasses. Think twice about these because they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is fantastic to have as well. I haven't used it by itself yet, but I will totally use it like if we were in Europe or something like that. But they're very heavy for your nose, can be uncomfortable, and they do not give you any protection from sun, just so you know. <laughs> it's just a little bit, not much. These you need to choose based on your lifestyle. For me, really, it's the only problem is it's too big for me and I wish I got the smaller one so I feel more comfortable wearing it with like, you know, to like La Petite Maison or Four Seasons Hotel and Surf Club or things like that. Or when we are in New York City, I would like to wear it for, you know, dinner and have it as the bag, which I put on a bar. But I just think the medium is too big and I would prefer if it was a little bit less high like just like this much you know <laughs> you know yeah i don't know what it is but something with the structure makes it look a little bit more big so anyway two year and a half two and a half year update condition fantastic fantastic condition this scratches really don't matter because it's like nothing 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 Scratches over the back, nothing as well. Some of you mentioned you hate the fingerprints you get on your back. So this is not a patent leather. It has a little bit more shine, which means it was treated in certain way. So it's more durable for scratches. Um, I highly recommend you to have always with you your sunglass claw. Celine as well, how funny. You know, it's for your sunglasses, which is great. But at the same time, you can just clean your back with it. Fingerprints. Works. Works like magic. It erases things for you. Of course, if you are using oils on your hands or you eat cheeseburger and you grab your bag, different kind of fingerprints. But who does that really? Hand cream, hand cream can happen. This worked for me for that very well. So, so yeah, am I happy with my purchases? Yes, almost. Will I do the changes if I could back in times? Absolutely, I will get a smaller size. Yeah, I do not recommend you to go for these sneakers from Celine, but maybe it's my mistake. Anyway, my dear friends, so this is it. A little Celine talk after, you know, long time. <laughs> I think it was good to, I think it is good to update how bags are keeping themselves with, um, not as gentle treatment like i treat my chanel bag much more gentle the lambskin one than i treat this one obviously yeah <laughs> sorry celine anyway uh people were always asking me should i rather get the box back i think the box back is gorgeous but for me the box back is even more sporty and more boxy <laughs> plus they were saying that the metal on the shoulder was killing people when they were wearing the bag for a whole day gorgeous stunning absolutely craft timeless yes but for me personally i don't carry this much stuff anymore like no <laughs> don't and my water bottle is always in my hand so yeah <laughs> anyway my dear friends that's it that's a two and a half year review of my celine triumph bag my celine triumph sunglasses those i have for about a year these goodies i have for like six five years maybe and they're perfect they're perfect they're perfect um so yeah celine quality is definitely timeless it will last forever unless you physically go and destroy it <laughs> anyway my dear friends i'm gonna go because it's been 26 minutes and I don't need to talk about four pieces this long. Anyway, thank you so much. Comment below if you have Celine Triumph bag, planning to buy it or what's the deal with you. <laughs> anyway, my dear friends, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and I see you next week. Bye-bye.